Hello and welcome to Gift and Home Channel. I'm Melissa Haverstrow with you from the Burlap Horse and we're talk talking today about setting the stage, Visual Merchandising 101. Today we're talking about different types of displays and we're going to actually show you a great theme display that reinforces the same element each time but also has hints of color display to it as well as showcases some great ideas for risers and a little bit of signage. So this display is going to give you more than just an idea of how to do a theme display. So what, let's get started basically on how we started. This display is built on one concept as theme displays are. Themes or story displays bring about a concept and it's repetitive, always uh, repeating the same element. For us, it was an acorn. I happen to be an acorn lover and always have them in the stores. So it's not uncommon for us to have a display that starts with this little gem here. In this case, we have the acorns first in the bowl, which also has an acorn element to it. But notice how it's sitting on a wooden riser. We've talked about risers in other segments, and risers are so important to showcase a different point of eye movement. In this case, we're using the U-shaped element here, where we start tall here, and it comes down and swoops back up at the lamp. We also have an unconventional sort of riser here in that we're using a ladder where we've accommodated it by adding pieces of plywood stained to match that gives us an opportunity for three to four layers of products. In this case, it wasn't necessary for us to set a whole table, but the plates that reinforce this color that we've been talking about, the golden colors, the green colors, are able to be stacked nearby for purchasing. We also have a riser here that showcases an acorn platter. And in this case, this is a, what would typically be used as photograph riser, um, plate riser, book riser. Any of those things will work to prop it upright so you can really see the detail of the acorn. <clears throat> as we move along, you'll see that we're cross-merchandising a lot of products in this display. We're talking about products that come from different groupings. In this case, we've got a piece of pewter here. It has a nice acorn detail. This can be used as a cotton ball accessory in your bathroom or as a tabletop piece. We're also talking about furniture, barware, and then other pieces that can be considered artwork or part of the tabletop. To add to what we're talking about here, I have a few acorn matches that go with our candle line in the green colors. We'll just place those here. And to top off our display, we're going to add an acorn spoon. It's got a great acorn detail here. We're just going to set this here in this little bowl so people can see that there are plenty to grab. And we're going to finish it again off with our signage. Let's talk about the artist. In this case, we want to tell the story about the pottery that we have on board here. This signage is nearby. It's got a lot of information about the artist in it. So people are able to pick it up, close it, and place it back. Because it's a tent card, there's hardly anywhere you can't put that where it doesn't showcase the product again for the next customer. So these are some basics on theme or story displays, as well as our eye movement, color repetition, risers, and signage. I hope you'll join us next time as we continue to talk about Visual Merchandising 101.